What's going on everybody? So it's currently May 30th, 2019, Thursday, 10.22 a.m. That means I'm 23 days out from my show. Today's gonna be a really exciting video, guys, so I'm gonna do a full day of eating. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I eat during prep to get shredded. Also, if you guys watched my last video, you guys saw the package that I didn't open on camera, and I'm gonna open that today, so stay tuned for that. But first, here's a little physique update. All right, that was a quick physique update, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my physique being 23 days out. By the way, guys, I'm at this point in prep where I started drinking coffee. I'm pretty much replacing energy drinks for coffee because, you know, energy drinks are just not doing the job anymore. And I was never really a big coffee drinker up until like last week in prep. I decided to give it a shot because I know that coffee suppresses your appetite. And that's really needed for me at this point in the cut. And it's actually really not that bad, so cheers. So let's get right into this full day of eating. We're gonna start off with breakfast, so I'll see you guys at breakfast. So before we get into it, I'm just gonna put my macros for today on screen. So I don't have like a refeed day today, but my carbs are a little bit higher than normal. Like yesterday, my carbs were 155 grams, and then today they're at 205. So a little bit of an increase, but not like a refeed day. So I'm actually excited about that. So it's currently 11.18 in the morning. For breakfast this morning, I'm gonna be having the same thing that I usually have every single morning. I like to keep everything consistent, that way I can just track progress much more easily. So I'm gonna be having four of these low-fat waffles with a little bit of Walden Farm zero-calorie pancake syrup. And guys, I just have the oats here just to compare the macros of these two because they're nearly identical. And the reason I go with the waffles over the oats is just, I find that the oats just don't sit well in my stomach, but the waffles I can get down a lot more easily. Macros are nearly identical. So I'm gonna make up for these right now and then I'll catch in with you guys once it's done. All right guys, so there it is, four low fat waffles. I'm gonna throw the macros for this meal on the screen. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of Walden Farmers pancake syrup. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of cinnamon on each waffle. Let me do a little taste test for you guys. So I'm gonna finish this meal right here, guys, and then I gotta go to an appointment, and I'm gonna catch you guys back in at the next meal. Hey guys, so the time is currently 3.41 p.m. I'm gonna be cooking up my next meal, so meal number two. And when I cook up this meal, I also cook up the next two after that because I can just do it all at once and it's much easier that way. So I'm gonna be using zero calorie cooking spray, and I'm just gonna season everything with just some black pepper. All right, so I'm gonna be cooking up five ounces of 96.4 lean ground beef, 30 grams of fat-free cheese, five asparagus tips, and 85 grams of broccoli florets. All I'm gonna do is multiply all of those serving sizes by three because those are gonna be three meals all together. So 15 ounces of ground beef, 90 grams of fat-free cheese, 15 asparagus tips, and I believe 255 grams of broccoli. With this broccoli, guys, I just like to break these up into smaller pieces. 
All right, now that the broccoli is all broken up into smaller pieces, I'm gonna get 15 spears of asparagus. And then with this, I'll just grab like three or four at a time, and then I'm just gonna use scissors and chop them up in with the broccoli. And then that's what that looks like when it's done. Now I'm just gonna grab some cooking spray. And then I'm just gonna throw all of this in here. And then I just season these vegetables with some black pepper. Now to make this broccoli and the asparagus a little bit softer, I'm just gonna grab some water. And then I'm just gonna pour it in here put the top on and then that's gonna help it steam up and get it nice and soft. All right guys, so while that's steaming up, I'm gonna get the cheese ready. So like I said before, I do 30 grams of fat-free cheese in each meal, so I have to multiply by three because I'm cooking up three right now. So 30 times three, that's 90 grams. And now that that's gonna go, I'm gonna get the beef ready. I need five ounces of lean ground beef per meal. Multiplied by three, that's gonna be 15 ounces. There we go. So now I'll just move all these over to the side a little bit and then throw the beef in. And then we'll just throw the top back on for a little. All right guys, so as that's cooking up, I put my rice in earlier, it's already done. Each of my meals is gonna have 99 grams of rice. So I'm gonna put 99 grams of rice in each of my Tupperware containers. All right, so that's 99 grams guys. So I'm just gonna do that two more times. Alright guys, so this is almost done. I'm just gonna mix everything in together. I'll just take this 90 grams of cheese and just spread it around. And then I turn this off, put the top back on, and then just let that simmer. And the cheese melts very nicely. Here's the big reveal. Look at that. So now what I do is I just divide this into three. And it doesn't really matter if I have like an equal amount of broccoli or asparagus in each one because at the end of the day, I'm eating exactly what I weighed out and exactly what I tracked. All right guys, so there you have it. You saw how quick and easy that was. That literally took like 15 or 20 minutes even to like set it up and prepare it and cook it and everything. So right here I have meal two, which is gonna be my pre-workout meal. And then I also have three and four ready. So that's why I do everything at once just because it's so much easier. So I'm just gonna set these two aside for later. I mean, I'm gonna eat this right now. But just to add some things to these meals to make them taste a little bit better. I'm gonna add some no sugar added ketchup. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna add some Frank's Red Hot. And then last but not least, some light sour cream. And the sour cream I do weigh out, so I'm just gonna take out 30 grams of this. Now I just mix this all together. And then we eat. Even if I wasn't on prep, I'd be eating this, I swear to God, because this is so good. If you just close your eyes and just think of Chipotle, this is Chipotle right here. Also, I'm gonna put the macros for this meal on screen, and when I have those other two meals, the macros are gonna be exactly identical because they're all the same. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym, and then I'll see you guys at meal three. 
All right guys, so we just finished with the workout. The time is 7.35 p.m. It's time for meal three. So I'm having post-workout protein bar. This is a Met RX bar. These are my favorite protein bars at the moment. My favorite flavor is the Super Cookie Crunch because it tastes like Oreos. This one is vanilla caramel churro. So this is the one I'm gonna be having. Calories are 380, 11 grams of fat, 47 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. So let's see how this one tastes. If I had to explain what this tastes like, it's like a um, like a cinnamon toast crunch cereal bar. Really good. My favorite is still the super cookie crunch. So, so now I'm gonna drive home, and I'll see you guys at meal four. What's up guys, so I'm back from the gym. I'm all showered up and you guys saw meal number three. That was my post-workout meal. So as promised in last week's video, I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing of that package right now. So there it is guys, inside the package was my posing shorts. I hope you guys like the ones that I picked out. I really like them and I'm gonna put a picture up on screen of what I look like in them at the moment and then I'm gonna tune in back with you guys for meal number four. All right, so it's time for meal number four guys. As you saw earlier, I cooked up those extra meals so I'm gonna be having one of those right now as meal number four. I've got it right here, ready to go. So I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for about four minutes and I'll see you guys when it's time to eat. So while my food's heating up guys, I just thought I should mention that at the moment I'm drinking two gallons of water. So I already finished one gallon for today and I'm working on my second one right now. All right, so here's meal number four. And once again, I'm just gonna be adding some Frank's Red Hot and instead of that sugar-free ketchup, this time I'm gonna be using sugar-free barbecue sauce. Sweet and spicy. And the macros on this for 30 grams is zero grams of fat, two grams of carbs, zero grams of protein, and 10 calories. And once again, 30 grams of light sour cream. And now we're ready to eat meal number four. All right guys, meal number four is done. That was amazing. So now I'm just gonna relax a bit. I'm gonna have meal number five in about two hours, so I'll catch back with you guys then. All right guys, so it's currently 11, 19 p.m. My last and final meal is about to go down right now. It's exactly the same as meals two and four. Macros are exactly the same. So I'm gonna kill this right now. And if any of you guys are wondering what app I use to track my macros, it's called MyFitnessPal. So I just track everything in here. And just to show you guys how I hit my macros today, I just scroll down here to nutrition and it pulls up my macros, exactly how I hit them today. So my goal for carbs was 205, my goal for fats was 40, and my goal for protein was 185. So I hit all of those spot on, except for protein, I was down by one gram, which is completely fine. I give myself a little bit of wiggle room, so I give myself plus or minus five grams of carbs, plus or minus five grams of protein, and plus or minus three grams of fats. So as long as I'm within those numbers, that's okay. And I hit them almost perfectly today, so that's a plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this meal, guys. I'm gonna finish my last gallon of water, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys got a good look into what I eat every single day. There are some days where things will change because, you know, my macros change pretty much almost every day or every other day at this point. So I'll swap some things out, or if I get tired of the rice, I'll use potatoes instead, or vice versa. That's gonna be all for this week's video, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.